Hello, and welcome to the fourth exercise in the West Grid Docker course. In this exercise, we will be using Docker to build a new image using a Docker file, and then export that image to a file that we can then re-import in a different system and create new containers from. For this example, we're going to be repeating our setup of example three, where we'll be using the GNU plot. So first we'll open a Docker, a file named Docker file with nano, and we'll paste in the uh, paste in the contents of the file from our example page. For the contents, at the start top, we have the from directive. This specifies where the where Docker will build its image from off of the uh, the base image. In this case, we're going to be using the CentOS image, so we specify it there. Next, we have the volume directive. This will be a folder that will be created within the Docker image file and will be used for mounting external mounts to our Docker image as we did in the previous example. After that, we'll specify our work directory of the Docker image. And we're going to specify that also as our work dir inside the image. The work directory is the folder at which all of the commands that will get executed from a Docker file will be run out of. Uh, this is in the event that we are not running in inter interactive mode inside the container and have a shell. Next, we'll use a run command to specify what to uh, create the image with. So on top of using the basic CentOS image, we will run the yum install GNU plot command and have it install GNU plot for us as part of our image creation. Finally, we have our entry point command. This command specifies to the image what, what to execute when calling a Docker run of the image when it is not being run in an interactive mode. In this case, since we'd like to run GNU plot within our work directory, we just specify the executable GNU plot. After we've finished copying everything into the Docker file, we just need to write out the changes that we made to the file and exit out of nano. Now that we have our Docker file, we can call Docker to build ourselves a new image. In this case, we'll use docker build and then minus T will be our tag uh, of that new image. In this case, we'd like to call the new image GNU plot underscore CentOS. Note that the name of the image has to be all in lowercase. Finally, we specify where our Docker file that we're building off of is located. In this case, since it is in the same directi directory that we're in currently, we just can use the dot. Now Docker will go through and execute the commands that we specified in the Docker file to build a new image. So here we can see that it set up our CentOS image, created our work directory folder, and has started to run yum install for the image.
now that we have finished setting up the image, we can go ahead and clean up our directory from our previous execution in example three. So in this case, we want to remove that the PNG file that we cre uh, created in, during example three. So we do rm in our input directory and then the name of the PNG file. And we are doing this so that once we run our new Docker image, we can verify that it is creating a new PNG as we expect. Now, now that we have prepared our environment, we can go ahead and do a Docker run command. In this case, uh, we will not be running interactive mode, so we'll just go ahead and instead of using the IT, we'll start by naming our new Docker container. In this case, we will call it Docker GNU plot. Then we will specify that our volumes to be mounted, so our local input directory, and then inside the container, our work directory as we specified. Finally, we want to use the new name that we created our image of. So we want, instead of CentOS, we want GNU plot underscore CentOS. Finally, we need to specify the output or the input file name of our GNU plot. Because we're calling GNU plot as the executable, we can specify a file name for it to run on that is within that work directory. So now that we've had our container run, it has gone through and it has created ourselves, our, us, the PNG image again that we've removed previously. So now that we verified that our new image is working as we expected, we can take a look to just make sure that the PNG is being outputted correctly and we can open it with mobile Xterm again. After that, we will go ahead and export our new Docker image to a file that we can copy between machines. In this case, we're going to have we're going to use the docker image save command. And then we specify that we're out, we need an output file and we'll call this output file GNU plot CentOS demo dot tar. And finally, we will specify the name of the image that we'll be saving to that uh, tar file. Once this completes, we can go ahead and look at the folder that we're currently in, and we can see that we have a GNU plot CentOS demo tar that was created by Docker as an export of our Docker image. Now that we have a, a tar file of our new image, we can go ahead and copy it off to a different machine, or in this case, we'll just go ahead and pretend that we copied it off and import back into our local Docker. Uh, this time, we will just call docker image import, give it the tar file that we created on the save for the exporting, and then we'll give the image a new name. In this case, to differentiate it, we'll call this new docker image uh, imported GNU plot. Finally, after this is completed, we can go ahead and have Docker list our current images that we have within the system. We do this by using the docker image list command. And we can see here that we have our imported GNU plot that we've just created and imported from our tar file. Our previous uh, GNU plot that we created and exported to that tar file as well as the base images of the Hello World and CentOS that we used for, for the previous examples.